Okay, happy Monday team. Monday, what we're looking at doing is we're gonna go for a squat day, depending if you're in the gym or at home, uh, you're gonna attack this just slightly differently. We're gonna start off with some midline work though, just to get ourselves uh, working nice and warm in that, in that kind of midline piece. So the first thing that we're gonna do to start off with, we're gonna go for eight minute rounds, okay? So eight minutes for rounds, uh, excuse me. So the first thing that we're gonna start off with is nice and simple, just a plank hold. We're gonna tuck, um, tuck our bum down and squeeze those abs in so that when we're in that plank hold, we're in a nice tight position where our bum isn't stuck up in the air. So we're nice and tight, squeeze those glutes and hold for 30 seconds. So that's our first movement. After our first movement, we're gonna flow into a uh, starfish iso hold, so 30 seconds on each side. These are tough, uh, and there's variants of things that you can do with it. So the bottom scale uh, of this hold would actually just be uh, a side plank, so something where we're stood or, or we're, we're held here. The next thing that we can do is we can bring our foot up and our arm up, okay? So we're holding there for 30 seconds on each side, okay? So, if you're not comfortable getting that foot up into that hold, for sure just hold that side plank for me. 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds on the other. Then we're going to go into a superman hold. So we're going to be on our front, and when we're on our front, we're really going to focus, really going to focus on pulling our shoulders back so that our hands come right up off the floor. Think about trying to get those arms way past uh, your ears when you're on the floor, and you're going to ping those feet up and point them up off the floor as well. So we're gonna be in this nice kind of squeezed, nice up and tight position there, okay? So we're gonna go 30 seconds on that Superman hold and then we're gonna go uh, after that, just to get the legs warm, because we're gonna be squatting today, we're gonna go 10 nice wide stance squats. So feet nicely over shoulder width apart and from there hips go back, sit down as low as you can go and stand up again, okay? So we're gonna go for that <laughs> for about, <clears throat> seven to eight minutes. <clears throat> the idea being that I want to get loads of good holding work done in that midline, get those legs nice and warm as well, okay? So after our midline kind of warm up piece, we're then going to go into our, our predominant uh, strength work for the day, um, and that's going to be squatting. So what we're going to look to do today is <clears throat> if you are at the gym, you're going to have 13 minutes, <clears throat> excuse me, to build to your heaviest 10 uh, goblet squat, okay? So we're gonna have that weight in that front rack position here, nicely supported with our arms underneath that weight here, and from there, hips go back, sit yourself down and stand back up again, okay? So your heaviest 10 that you can get on that front squat, on that goblet squat, bear in mind, we've got lots of nice heavy weights in there now um, that you can grab um, and hit that nice big heavy 10 out, okay? Um, I want a minimum of five working sets within that as well. So I want five good working heavy sets of 10 within that as well. It's gonna be lots of volume. We're just trying to get those legs really used to volume for when we come back into the gym where we are gonna really apply some, some volume to our training, okay? So if you're at home, you are doing, uh, sorry, if you're at the gym, you're building to a heavy 10. If you're at home, I want you to be doing goblet squats with whatever weight you've got but we're gonna control the lower, okay? So we're still doing 10 reps, but we're controlling it for a three count, okay? So from there, we're gonna hold that weight up. We're gonna go one, two, three, into that bottom position, pause, and up, okay? One, two, three, pause, and up, okay, for 10. And you're gonna see how many sets of 10 we can get in, in our time, okay? So 13 minutes, we're gonna bulk out lots, and, lots of good volume, okay? get nice and warm, get really comfortable, and then we're gonna see how many sets of 10 we can get into that time. I really want you to focus on the controlling of the lower, the pause, but also let's not let ourselves, if we're working with lighter weight at home, let's not let ourselves just kind of hang out then for two or three minutes uh, for a big long rest. Let's get right back into it. Uh, 30 to 45 seconds rest each round, and then we'll go from there, okay? So our final piece of work for the day, we're gonna go on to, a, a 13 minute AMRAP. So we're gonna start with 12 single arm thrusters, so six, uh, six reps each arm. So we're gonna have either a kettlebell or a dumbbell in that front rack position there, and we're gonna take that squat down and that press up overhead, making sure that we are, the legs are driving the majority, majority of the weight, uh, and it's not our, um, uh, our shoulders doing all that work. So it's not a front squat into a press, it really is that 
and drive up overhead, okay? So, we're gonna do six on one arm, six on the other. We then, if we're at the gym, we're gonna go and do a car park carry. So, suitcase car park carry. So, you're gonna grab your weight, or maybe a heavier weight, out, um, and you're gonna do up and back down the car park, up with one arm, back down the other arm. Um, if you're at home, we're gonna go for 10 oblique crunches. So, we're gonna go bump with our weight, Keeping that core nice and tight, feet are going to be under, under our shoulders and we're keeping our shoulders in that line, okay? I don't want them coming forward, nor do I want them going back, okay? So work and squeeze up on the opposite side. So once we've done our car park carry or our, um, our oblique crunches, we're then going to go into six burpees, okay? And that finishes the round. So we're going to do as many rounds as we can do in 13 minutes. Okay, that is Monday. 